Today's medical-centric topic is Unraveling Involuntary Movements What You Should Know Involuntary movements, or abnormal movements, that occur without a person's intention can be unsettling and often raise concerns. Understanding these movements, their causes, and potential treatments is crucial for those experiencing them and their caregivers. In this article, we will explore what you should know about involuntary movements. 1. Types of Involuntary Movements Involuntary movements encompass a range of conditions including tremors, tics, chorea, dystonia, and myoclonus. Each type has distinct characteristics. 2. Common Causes Involuntary movements can be triggered by various factors such as neurological conditions, medications, stress, or even caffeine. Identifying the underlying cause is essential for effective management. 3. Neurological Conditions Many involuntary movements are associated with neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, Tourette's syndrome, or Huntington's disease. Understanding these conditions is essential for accurate diagnosis. 4. Diagnosis Diagnosing the cause of involuntary movements often requires a thorough medical evaluation, which may include neurological exams, imaging tests, and blood work. 5. Medications In some cases, involuntary movements can be managed with medications that aim to regulate neurotransmitters in the brain. However, the effectiveness of medication varies depending on the underlying cause. 6. Non-medical treatments Physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy can be valuable in managing certain types of involuntary movements, improving motor skills, and enhancing quality of life. 7. Lifestyle adjustments Involuntary movements may respond to lifestyle changes such as reducing stress, getting adequate sleep, and limiting caffeine and alcohol intake. 8. Support System Coping with involuntary movements can be challenging. Seeking support from friends, family, or support groups can provide a sense of community and emotional relief. 9. Medication Side Effect Some medications prescribed for other conditions can lead to involuntary movements as a side effect. It's important to discuss potential side effects with a healthcare provider. 10. Living Well While involuntary movements can be challenging, many individuals lead fulfilling lives with the right support and treatment. Being proactive in managing the condition and staying informed are essential steps toward improving one's quality of life. Involuntary movements can be a complex and distressing experience, but understanding the various types, their causes, and the available treatment options is vital. If you or someone you know is affected by involuntary movements, seek professional medical advice to determine the underlying cause and develop a tailored treatment plan. Remember that with the right support and knowledge, many individuals successfully manage and cope with these conditions, leading fulfilling lives. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.